Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO Marlon Chitombera. Marlon, I'm one of the people that thought you got robbed in your last fight, so it's very nice to see you come off with a victory tonight and perhaps the biggest victory of your career. So much hype behind Sean O'Malley. Tell us how you're feeling right now. Man, like, as I always say, hype, big name, fame, none of, this, none of those things counts when you, if you don't put in hard work, dedication. You're, you're the perfect example. I learned that from you when you talk in your podcast and the things that you say about push yourself and don't be a <laughs> and conquer your inner <laughs> All those <laughs> things, yo, you make you, make you make to the big level to the next step. So thank you for that. My pleasure, sir. Now, Marlon, you came into this fight an underdog. A lot of people were kind of counting you out. How good does it feel to have proved them wrong now? Calm me down now. Say something now. You know, yo, for real, like, a lot of people have a comment. Everybody have an opinion. But guess what? That doesn't matter. I got the immigrant mentality. I'm a tough guy. I train hard. I show up on, on time. I got great people in my corner, as you can see. And... The sky's the limit, man. I got three kids I need to feed. I got a house to pay, so I'm a motivated man. I wake up every morning with a mission, and here we are. I'm, I'm willing to die at every single moment in the fight. Well, that mission was successful tonight. At one point in the fight, something happened, and he was injured. Did you recognize that? Did you recognize that he was limping, and do you know what that moment was? Well, I, when he was throwing kicks to me, well, uh, he land one calf kick, and after that, they make the adjustments, and I check one, so... If you want to kick with a kicker, make sure you're ready for kick. So you believe maybe that injury came off of a check? You know, the guy kicks a lot, so maybe in the last sparring, whatever, he gets hurt, you know. My, my foot is hurt in every single fight because I throw a lot of kicks in, in, in the sparring, but when I, I made the adjustment, you know, I, he have a big right hand, he don't throw numbers, so I was taking the first round as a see what he got, and to be honest, the guy just have a lot of hype, good for him, but he don't have the dog I have inside. I say that in the interviews, and I will repeat it again. The dog I have inside is bigger than all of these guys. Well, that dog bit tonight, sir. Yes, Congratulations. Sir. Enjoy your victory. And uh, this makes it now six in a row in the Bantamweight division. This has got to be a, a nice moment for you. It's a nice moment, Joe. I appreciate this. I appreciate the moment. I'm happy. And as I said before, I'm a person that came from, from born. And I came from a small town in Ecuador. And here we are in Las Vegas conquering big fights, doing big things. So I'm not stopping here. On Monday, I go back to the gym, and I'm ready to kick out soon. Congratulations, my friend. Marlon Vera, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you, Joe. You're the man. Thank you, sir.